What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We got some new content for you and some new stuff on the way. So I want to talk to you guys about this uh, 75 gallon fish tank I have here. Something different. I usually post stuff about my cars or um, some car stuff or whatnot, but I want to do a quick review on this 75 gallon uh, tank that I got. I purchased it from, uh, from PetSmart. It's a Marineland 75 gallon ensemble that I and currently housing a few uh, neon tetras in, some uh, some mollies, some guppies. They're in there somewhere. And I have my beautiful Northern Diamondback Terrapin, which is right there. This little guy is about four months old. Beautiful turtle, beautiful turtle. I am using some black sand subs for the substrate. Um, that white stuff you see there, it's crushed coral. I uh, sprinkled a little bit in there. I had more, but I took some out. Um, so it's in there just to raise the pH in the water and also it's for my Diamondback Terrapin so he could uh, chew on, so he can get that uh, that beak trimmed down every once in a while. Uh, I got a few snails in there. There's one guy there and I think there's one some back there. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, a few guys back there. And I am using an air bubble back here with some uh, Siri stone, I believe it's called. I'm not sure if that's the way to pronounce it. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. And I also want to sh show you guys a quick uh, review on this DIY basking area that I built myself. Um, there's a couple guys out there that have it on, you know, on for the turtles. It's a uh, pretty much a crate with a uh, little bit of, uh, you know, zip ties and stuff. Mine's is a little different. What I ended up doing was I did the whole acre, but I wanted to do something with support. So what I ended up doing was I built this on top of an acrylic sheet. So right there is an acrylic sheet and then it's acre and then it's the liner. So the reptile liner, also, what I ended up doing was I have this five gallon uh, screen cover here that I was using and I ended up using it to sit my zoom ad lights on there because what happens is when you put this light on top of the egg crate, eventually it's going to turn yellow or it's going to discolor or sometimes soften up and might cave in and I don't want to have to deal with that or, you know, that happening with my turtles in there basking. So I ended up doing uh, the five uh, the five gallon screen cover and zip tied it all the way around. Yeah, it's a little bit of much of a zip tie, but I mean, it doesn't look bad at all in my opinion. Also did uh, an acrylic window so I can get easy access, stick my hand in there if I have to adjust some things there. I do have some, um, some of these uh, aloe vera fake plants in here. They're very sturdy, so I don't have to worry about my turtle taking a bite out of them. Um, also what I did differently in here, I ended up using PVC pipe, the one half inch right there to give it some support so if in case it does cave in the top caves in it will fall on top of the pvc pipe so i don't have to worry about no uh, accidents happening or anything like that um came out pretty good actually pretty good i see a couple guys they just you know have the egg crate going but no support on top and you know i don't want to have to deal with that so i decided to do something different um yeah so that's pretty much it as far as um, the build for the DIY goes for the uh, the above basking area, it came out pretty good. I have my camera there. I've been trying to, you know, spy on my uh, on my terrapin here for the last couple of days because since I built this, he has not been wanting to bask. So, but lately it's I've been catching him going up there. Um, he's just getting used to it. And here he is again, asking for food. He's a beautiful turtle, about four months old. Um, he's living the best life in a 75 gallon. I originally had my 20. I said, you know what, to hell with it. I'm going to go ahead and grab a 75 and, you know, give him a lot more swimming space. And you know what? He's happy. Oh, real quick, guys. Um, I am using the uh, filter back there, the canister filter. Um, one of the best ones you can get on the market. I believe it's a Fluval 407, one of the newer ones. And uh, it works very, very good. It keeps my water nice and crystal clear. Um, 
And as far as lights go, I'm using the Marine Land, Marine Land uh, LED. This is the upgraded one, not the one that comes with the ensemble because that one's kind of crappy. So I ended up upgrading for the stronger one. And I have it set for day and night. Right now it's still daytime. And uh, so that's why it's still, you know, it's still on. But uh, around eight o'clock it should shut off and uh, switch to the nightlight. Got my uh, my spooky tree here. Uh, fish and the turtle. The turtle loves the uh, the tree. Loves the tree. There he is, guys. Well, um, that's gonna be it for this review. And uh, hope you guys like the video. I do have a ghost shrimp in there and a blue shrimp. They're in there somewhere. I just don't know where they are now, but uh, they're in there somewhere. All right, guys. If you guys have any questions feel free to leave me a comment uh, if you guys have any questions about the, the baskin area um go ahead and leave a comment i'll try to help you guys out as much as possible and uh yeah that's pretty much it all right guys till next time